almost close. I was almost found out. Aha! Children, have you ever tried to hide on hearing your name? Did you hide because you did something right or you did something wrong? Aha! I am sure it is because of something wrong that you have done. Most times, if you have done something good, you want people to see you, you show, show it and let people know that yes, I'm a good boy, I'm a good kid. But when you do something bad, that's when we try to hide. My name is Uncle Osi. I will be looking at the topic today, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were the first people to be created and they had special relationship with God. They were very close to God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today as we look into your word together. We pray God that you because that your word will make meaning in our hearts. And after today, oh God, that we will continually live to please you all the days of our lives. In Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. You know, there's this song that says, Don't play hide and seek from the God who loves you. Don't play hide and seek from the Lord who loves you. Don't play hide and seek from the Lord who loves you. Don't play hide and seek from the Lord who loves you. For you can't hide from God. All right, you welcome back. You welcome back. As I said, we'll be looking at Adam and Eve. God created a special garden and placed Adam and Eve there. I told them not to take, not to eat out of the tree that is in the midst of the garden. But you know what? And they saw the fruits. Ah. Hmm. He disobeyed God. Let's listen to the full story. Said Adam and Eve were created by God, and God kept them in that special garden. But Satan entered the serpent. A serpent went to Eve and told Eve, the God say, you should not eat of every tree in the garden. And Eve said, God said we may eat out of all the trees that are in the garden, except the one that is at the midst of the garden, that the day who eat it, we shall die. That we should not eat it, nor touch it. A serpent turned and looked at Eve. Surely you will not surely die. God knows that the day you eat out of this tree, you will be as wise as God. And Eve took a second look. Ah, this tree, this food, be good for food. Though. And to be able to make one wise. Ah, and she took out of the fruits of the tree and ate and she gave to the husband Adam who was with her and then God came and found out that they had eaten out of this tree and he called on Adam 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 why were you hiding Adam said it is the wife that you gave me that made me to eat out of the fruit that you said we should not eat. And when God turned to Eve, the Eve, Eve also said, ah, it is serpent that deceived me. And God said, because you are eating this, he placed a curse on them, that the ground will be cursed, and that the woman will have to bear children in pain. So the consequence was grievous 
it was a serious one. So we must know that everything we do has consequences. So that was the story of Adam and Eve. But there are things that we need to learn from now. I will need you to get your Bible, your book, and your writing materials. We'll be looking at the story from the Bible is in Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 to 13, and same 3, verses 16 to 24. That's where our text is taken from. You can read it up and you see the full story there. So many points. The first thing we see here, just as Satan used serpent to deceive Eve, there are various ways the devil can use anyone to deceive you. So you need to watch out. You need to be on your guard. You need to know what God wants from you as a person. Some people, I tell you things that look sweet, like if you actually do these things, ah, something good will come out of it. But it's against God's law. Once you sense that what the person is telling you is against what God had said in his word, you must not follow them. Ignore such messages because Satan has been a liar and is the father of all lies. He will always like to deceive people that are not close enough to God, that people that don't know the word of God. So you need to study the word of God every day. Know what the Bible says and stand by it. Don't allow ungodly friends to deceive you. One other thing, sometimes people want to try out. Ah, let me see, let me see. Don't be too inquisitive as to trying things that might be harmful to you. Somebody say, I experience is the best teacher. Let me experience it myself. You might not be able to come out of it. There are some people that are in uh, Yaba left, psychiatric hospital now, because they just wanted to test it. Just, ah, this smoke, ah, colos, ah, it's bad. And let me see how it feels. And their brain got torn completely, and they've not been able to recover from it. So don't be too inquisitive. He wanted to know how the food looks like, and that was what caused that serious punishment that they eventually got. So people will always try to lie and make you get deceived, but continue to trust in the Lord and obey God and Him alone completely. Okay, when they had sinned and God called out, what did they do? Adam blamed Eve. Eve blamed Satan or serpent. You see, most times we try to justify ourselves. We try to say, no, it was not my fault. Is that my sister? Is one that put the fruit where I saw it and the tea was entering my eyes. That's why I ate it. You don't have to try to justify yourself. Once you are wrong, the best thing for us to do is to go to God in prayers, to truly repent, telling you are sorry for the things that you have done wrong. Self justification has consequences. It will not pay you at all. Don't always try to feel, oh, this person cost it. Learn to own your re and responsibilities for every of your actions. Try to avoid things that are bad, but if you mistakenly get into something that is wrong, just go to God in prayers and let him know that you have done something wrong. And then he will forgive you. But sometimes, because sins always have consequences, you might still suffer one or two things for it. For instance, if you stole and your father asked and you own up that, ah, I'm the one that took the meat, I'm the one that took that thing that I was not supposed to take. So daddy might still flog you so that you know that stealing is bad. But the, your soul, your mind will be free. But if you lie and you try to hide, you discover that even your conscience will continue to flog you apart from your daddy. So learn to own up, learn to confess your sins and God will forgive you in Jesus' name. Alright, so we'll just learn our memory verse very quickly. 
Our memory verse is taken from Galatians chapter 5, verse 4. Galatians 5, verse 4. And it says, You have been severed from Christ, you who are seeking to be justified by law. You have fallen from grace. Galatians 5, 4. You have been severed from Christ, you who are seeking to be justified by law, you have fallen from grace. If you try to justify yourself by the law, that means you'll be taken away from Christ. That means you don't have part in Christ. But the Bible says if you confess and forsake, that is when you will have pardon. So in conclusion, Adam and Eve were caused by God for their misdeed despite the excuses and the blame shifting. So self-justification did not save them. Neither can we save any of us. So no matter what, you must learn to know that sin has consequences. But confess them if you have erred, and God will forgive you. And who knows, if Adam and Eve had actually owned up, maybe their punishment would not have been eternal. See today, if you can ask your mommy what they go through to give birth and, and the degree land that is caused for their sake. But thank you to Jesus, the last Adam who has come to the same of If you are a child of God, I congratulate you that you've known the Lord Jesus. You continue to serve Him, continue to honor Him in everything that you do. But if you don't know Jesus, it's time for you to ask Jesus to come into your life and stop trying to justify every of your action. If you want to ask Jesus into your life, just close your eyes and say these prayers after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come unto you just as I am. Wash away my sins. Write my name in the book of life and make me to be your tri- child every day of my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for watching. Believe God will continue to help you to make you victorious and overcome in life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank mm-hmm. you.